Hi friends, Miss Megan from the Children's Museum of the Low Country in downtown Charleston. Um, I am still here in the art room, um, joining you in your classroom over the computer and Google Meets. Um, so like we've said in the past, I'm sorry, I can't be in the classroom to do this experience with you. But what's cool is we can still do it. We're just gonna do it with a computer. And again, just a reminder, this video is meant to do to be an introduction. So let's get caught up on what we've done. Day one, we sorted human made and natural items, right? And then we created a piece of art inspired by Andy Goldsworthy. The next day we talked about magnetic versus non-magnetic and we sorted items. And then we created a really unique piece of art using magnets. And then where we kind of left off, the last time we sorted bags from our um, bag of materials, we sorted between things that sink and things that float. And just a reminder, things that sink go to the bottom and things that float go to the top. And then what we did was we had you work on a boat and it was your job to design a boat that would float. So that's kind of where we left off. What we had to do was start to design, okay? I'm just gonna show you a little bit of mine because I don't want your boat to look like my boat. I want everybody's boat to look like their own design and creation. If you remember, we tried to kind of design it. I thought maybe I'd use something square in my bag and then these round cylindrical things I knew floated after testing. And so I was thinking that was kind of how I would start my boat. So um, at this time, if you need a little bit more time to work on your boat, that is okay. Remember, you're using materials from your bag and you wanted to remember what materials floated or stayed at the top, okay? Those things would probably be helpful in making your boat, correct? Because you want something that'll make the boat sit up top, all right? So if you need a few more minutes, now would be the time to kind of get caught up. I know we're using these videos as an introduction. If we want to fix our boat and work on a boat, that's where we can start our day. After we um, design our boat, then what we're going to need to do is test our boat. So again, take your time, work on your boat. It is okay if your boat looks different than your neighbors or different than your teachers or different than Miss Megan's, okay? So I'm going to show you a very simple boat and I want to see if it will float. So what are we going to need? We need that bucket of water back, aren't I? Okay. So I'm gonna slide my big bucket of water back over. Okay. And I'm gonna angle my camera down one more time so you can see my water. Okay. And here's my boat. I remember these things float. Okay, let's see. Ah, does it work? It does, it looks like my boat does float. Okay. It's staying on top of the water. It's not going down. And it looks like my boat will float. Okay. But I want to tell you, if your boat does not float, it is okay. Please, please, please don't get mad. Don't get frustrated. Don't give up. The cool thing about this is you still have that full bag of materials to make your boat make some changes, make some modifications, change it, switch it, move things around and try again. In your bag, you can use any of the materials for that will help your boat float. Teachers, I just wanna remind you and uh, friends that we sent home, we did have send home some extra materials. There's more materials in that bag for um, our friends to use for their creation. If your boat does not float, it is okay. Just make some changes, um, rework it, tweak it a little bit, and then we're going to get to the point where everybody's boat floats. Then this is where we're going to get, I'm going to give you even more of a challenge, okay? Not only have you made it a boat that will float, but I want your boat to hold some weight. And what that means is imagine that we're on our, our little boat, okay? Sometimes I've done this with little animals or Lego people, but I want to know that it'll hold that weight. So teachers in your packets, um, or adults at home, you could use toys, Legos, blocks. Um, teachers in the classroom, I've included these metal washers and I have the nice big ones, but they're the kind that hold weight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test our boat to see if it will hold some weight. And that's where our challenge is gonna come in. So you've already problem solved to fix your boat to float. Now we're gonna problem solve to fix our boat, <laughs> tongue twister, to hold some weight. So again, I'm gonna slide this back over. 
Okay. Try to get all this other stuff out of the background. Okay. We know that Ms. Megan's boat will float. Okay, and then I'm gonna slide this over. Now I wanna see if it'll hold some weight. So that is your problem solving. I'm thinking outside the box a little bit, right? So I'm gonna put some weight on. And look, did you see that? It looked like it held some weight, but some weight fell off, huh? Did you see? Some of the weight fell on the bottom. Well, my boat floats, right? I'm gonna switch it back. So my boat floats, but it doesn't hold the weight. And that's okay. Don't get mad, we're gonna fix that, okay? So I'm gonna get my boat out. And I need to think of a way that I can change my boat so that it'll hold some weight. And I noticed it didn't, it fell off the side. So I didn't have any edges on my boat, right? So what I think I'm gonna do, I think I got an idea. Okay, an idea. And remember, you can use the materials in your bag. Okay. And you can use all of that tape that I gave you in your bag. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some edges. I'm going to put an edge on. I think I got it. Now I did mine pretty quick. You don't have to rush. We got all day today to get our boats where they need to be. So what I did, slide my boat, my water back in. Okay, there's my water. You can kind of see even through the water what I did. Okay, my boat floated, so I didn't really need to change that. But what I wanted to do was put something where I could put my weight. So I'm gonna put my boat back in the water. Does my boat float? It sure does. And then I'm gonna take, just because I wanna really challenge myself. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of weight in. Let's count as we do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. My boat is still floating and it's holding all that weight, okay? Get you back on screen here. All right. So again, friends, remember, yesterday we worked so hard on designing that boat. Today, if it didn't work, that's okay. Number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our boat to float. I want everybody's boat to float. Then I'm gonna give you the next challenge. And that challenge is to make your boat hold some weight. Again, it may not work the first time. That is okay. Do not get mad, do not get frustrated. Don't give up on me, okay? Keep working, move things around, move the tape around your teacher and um, adults at home. Um, if you need extra materials, feel free to change them. Um, we're problem solving and fixing it and meeting our STEM challenge. So make your boat, get it to float, and then see if you can add some weight, okay? All right, friends, whatever your book, book like, boat looks like, it doesn't matter, it's okay, as long as you met the challenge. What we like to do here at the museum is worry about the process, enjoy the process, the learning, the growing, and the playing that's happened, and not necessarily the final product of your boat. Um, it's been a really great couple days sorting with you, experimenting and problem solving and figuring things out. Um, again, I wish I could be in the classroom. I, I miss seeing all of those smiling eyes under the mask and those smiling faces under the mask. We miss you and we can't wait to see you down here at the museum and back in the classrooms. As always, keep in touch, send pictures. I'd love to see some pictures of your boats. Um, please feel free to send me some pictures of your boats. And um, I can't wait to see you. Thanks so much, friends. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.